Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can actually make some extra batteries. Get an extra power cell. Just keep it in my inventory. Just why not, right? I need two copper to make two batteries. I need four acid mushrooms to make two batteries. And then I need one silicone rubber, which is that, uh, I don't think I have any. I need to go cut down those, oh, what are they called again? Creep vines? Yes. I need to go cut down those, and then that gives me silicone rubber. So I guess we can get an extra power cell just in case. I'm like, it's always good to have extra stuff in your inventory, you know? Another med kit right there, so we get extras. <laughs> just get ourselves an extra med kit. Boom. I wonder if it has its own uh, inventory. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, is that an empty battery, or is that, uh, 100, 100, and 100? Whoa, I have three. Oh yeah, the actual one was for the Seaglide, wherever that, uh, died. But look at that, you guys, we have our own little UFO! Seamoth! Oh, is that where I change it? I don't think so. I don't think I could change the name of it. Man, that'd be kinda cool. <laughs> Just name it, like, uh, I don't know. Ocean... Ocean Butterfly. Okay? <laughs> Seamoth, Ocean Butterfly, what's the difference? Now, what was I doing out here? Oh yeah, I need to go get, uh, go to the creep vines. How's my inventory doing? I think I can only hold three creep vines, which, you know, I think you need two to make one silicone rubber, so... I think I'm just going to grab two of them, because I don't need to grab three of them if I can't carry, uh, enough to make two crafts worth, right? So, let's get our knife out. And it looks like, yeah, look at that, you can get so much of this heckin' titanium around here, it's crazy. So there's two creep vines. Yes, that takes up two inventory spaces. And I think it's two creep vines to get one silicone rubber, so... Uh, I guess I might as well use my seat. I'm like, I'm basically waiting for the power to run out, so I might as well hurry that up, right? Sheesh. And I guess we can go to... I'm like... We have so many different locations we can go to. Light part 13. Light part 2. Let's go to light part 13. I think that's like the oldest one that we at least know the coordinates of right off the bat. I definitely want to go over there. 1,000 is about a kilometer away, so that's pretty good on our part. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Let's make the silicone rubber. Oh, it's Creep Seed Cluster. Hold on. Creep... Oh! Creep Vine Sample. That's for the fi I might as well make the fiber mesh. But Creep Seed cl I need to... Get, I, I guess I need to go to the little plants of it. The little fruits of it. And that will give me the Creep Seed cl or Whatever it's called. Jeez. <laughs> creep Seeds. Whatever they're called. Those little glowing little orange things. So anyways, yeah. Let's burn through some more of our power on our seagull. That was right there. And right there. And right there. 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 You, you guys can see what I'm talking about. Definitely need to get some of the Creep Seeds from these. And then, of course, turn these into silicone rubber. Inventory full. And let's get rid of that. Don't need that garbage. Boom. Got it. Okay. So I guess we're good to go. Let's go back. And let's go turn this into silicone rubber. Whoa! I think I'm getting it. Yeah, I was getting pursued. Yeah, hold on. Scan that thing? I've seen that thing scuttling around for a while. That little catfish-looking fella. What is that thing? Ugh! Kind of scanned it right there. Kind of looks mentally ill. Burrowing in the ground. I think I got some comments from you guys saying, hey. You can dig in the sand. Sand shark! Sand shark! Oh my god, scan, scan it, scan it! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Here we got damage right there, pretty good. But I got comments from you guys saying, hey, you can, you can dig in the sand, kind of like this guy's, I guess, doing. So I guess maybe we can try that out here in the future. Let's get pursued by him again. Hopefully scan him successfully. Ah, man. Come on, sand shark. How's it? What's the percentage on this? It's almost, it's almost, there we go, got it. Okay, let's go. Sea glide away! Let's go! Oh my god, look at how ugly that thing is on the left side. Sheesh! I guess we'd read about that as well as the warpers. Man, I forgot to read about them too. Sheesh. <laughs> There's so many things I need to read about, you guys. It's insane. And I'll just go make these things before the creep things, uh, spoil. So, boom. Oh yeah, and we can make lubricant out of it too. I might as well do that. Because you need one. Oh wait, you need, huh. I thought you needed two to make the silicone rubber. I might as well make one lubricant. Two silicone rubber. And boom, we're good to go. Whoa, what is this? Now we can make the power cell, yes. All right, let's make the power cell. Just an extra one for the sea moth, just in case we need it, because I feel like we're going to go a pretty fair distance away. And I think my assumptions were true. I think it does provide oxygen, so that's good. So there we go. Put up the silicone rubber and stuff. Lithium, we did not need that. Uh, flashlight, what in the world? Why is that... What? Do I have two flashlights? What in the world? Uh, why is that, like, invisible? Put that there. There we go. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> that was kind of strange. I don't, oh yeah, and I've never used the air bladder yet. Sheesh, I need to do that here pretty soon if I actually want to, you know, see if it works and how it works. I think it might be, like, a one-time use, so probably don't want to waste it, you know? But anyways, let's get on our sea moth, our brain. Oh! The biter! Is he attacking it? I think he is. Kill it! Kill it! I think it's dead. I think it's dead. Can I harvest the dead flesh? Yeah, I've already scanned it. Mm, don't think I can do anything else beyond that. Okay, well, at least it's not attacking our steam hoth anymore. <laughs> Given the damage, it's still 100% on a uh, little wrench right there, so that's good. Anyways, let's go to Life Pod 13, you guys. I'm like, it feels decently fast, but at the same time, I feel like the 
sea glide is about as fast. Yeah, look at the left side. Our oxygen is stable at 135. And of course, we can turn on and off the headlights. So if we want to conserve any energy, I guess we could just keep this on. And what is that thing at the top? 200? I th Hmm. I have a feeling. No? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that is the reef back. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. That thing has brain coral on the back of it, as well as some other coral as well. It's kind of crazy. But over there, that's where we need to go. Light pod 13. Definitely want to keep our lights off. I really wish I could at least see a third person view of this. Oh, whoa! Big rubble of ship. I guess I could uh, scan this stuff. You guys want to? Kind of dis... Uh, there we go. Get out of that for the time being, at least. And uh, let's do some scanning. I feel like we have some scanning. Oh! Ooh. Sand shark. Nothing else around here. Okay, that's good. What else? Is there anything here? I feel like it, maybe I've been here already. Mm, metal scraps. Don't need that garbage. Uh, ooh, that seems like something I could scan. Scan a room fragment. I guess we already have that, right? We could just get a little bit of titanium from it, I think. No, no. We just had, we, we were missing one piece of it. And now we have it. We have the blueprint for it. Nice. All right. I'm glad I came down here, you guys. So now we have the scanner room. Uh, what's the point of it, though? I guess I could read about it, you know? <laughs> and uh, now we have a flashlight. Whoa. This is kind of crazy, you guys. This is a piece of the Aurora ship. Probably one millionth of it. Just, you know, just by going out. Huge that thing seems to be. Not seeing anything around the bat, though. Definitely want to... Oh, look at that. Got a little bit of lead. Okay, another sand shark. Nothing in there. Ooh, she glide. Personal little... Okay, let's keep going. I think we're fine. Let's go back on our Seamoth. Boom. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much, Seamoth. You know what? I think I'm going to call my Seamoth something else. Because my Seamoth is talking to me. My base is talking to me. My bodysuit is talking to me. Man, that's a lot of guys about. So I think I call one of them Alexa. I call one of them Google. I call one of them Siri. <laughs> That'd be kind of a funny little meme. Anyways. Let's just keep on heading this way, 400 meters away. We're getting there real quick. Leave a comment down below. I'm like, I can barely tell. Do you guys think the Sea Moth is faster than the Sea Glide? I feel like they're about the same. I genuinely do. Now we are getting a little bit deep here. Don't have to worry about, uh... Oh my god, it's nothing but black. Sheesh. Even when I turn the light on, it's all black. Whoa! Okay, there's those little, friendly little glowing critters. Wow. Does this thing have a built-in scanning thing? I, I have a feeling that might be an upgrade. Don't need to have my light on that much, but I thought there was a... Yeah, that's a big deposit of what looks like salt or something there. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint Altera vehicle signatures. Ooh. Altera vehicle signatures. Now where is... Life pod... Uh... Was it 13? Whoa! Oh, I just hit a plant. Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. Ooh, carrying high Ooh, that's a sea glider. No, 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 that's a life pod. Ooh, you guys want to get, let's get out. We need to get out. Scan this thing. See what's going on with it. Was this the one that had the dead body in it? <gasps> PDA. Integrating new PDA data. All right, let's listen. Nothing else inside of here, I assume. I'm not seeing, ooh, that's bright, sheesh. I guess I could take their power cells, right? Yep. Anything around here I can scan around the bat? Do a little bit of a... Quick... Circling around here, not seeing anything around the bat? Okay, that's good. Kind of, I guess, right? Would've been really nice if, you know, there were survivors, but unfortunately I guess they didn't make it. I guess if we can go up to the- oh my god, I'm disoriented as heck, I can't- I, I don't know where up and down is. <laughs> there we go, turn the light on. Mmm... Man, I'm loving this game, you guys. Like, it, it, it's so fun, at least for me. I hope it's fun for you guys to watch, but I'm just having a great time. <laughs> but I, I really need to, like, go to the surface or something, or at least go to a relatively safe area and gain some elevation. And then we can listen to this uh, this recording. Maybe we're going to learn it a little bit more. Maybe they went to a new location or something like... Whoa! Oh, my God, we're flying! Sheesh! Man, who you knew the sea moth was able to come up out the water like a baby dolphin? Boom! Is that going to stay there? Okay, I think it is. Okay. Whew. Well, let's stay out of the water. Yeah. Oh, wait, blue. Yeah, we got the scanner room and probably some other stuff. Whoa, camera. Whoa, scanner room upgrades. Scanner room range upgrade. Scanner room speed upgrade. Camera drone. Scanner room HUD chip. 
which I guess is a uh, heads-up display, and there's the scanner room itself. I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it for the new stuff. Man. Bioreactor, nuclear reactor. Still not seeing anything for the Seamoth upgrades. Man. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Let's test this out. Access upgrades. Are the upgrades these? Flashlight? No. Habitat? No. Uh, repair tool? No. Oh, man. For a second there, I was about to say, like, were the upgrades basically my tools I could give to it? But I guess not. Okay, well, let's listen to the, uh, to the PDA thing. The voice line. Biomass in the area dominated by plant life. We got a faint Altera vehicle. Yeah, mm, that must be what it's talking about. The Altera uh, life pod. Uh, what was it 13 or something back then? I don't know. High security terminal. Captain's quarters. Alien facility location. What in the world? That's new. Life pod 4 transmission origin. Oh my god, life pod 4 is like right next to the... I don't know which side that would be... If that's the side that's closest to us or furthest from us. Can't really tell. Has security terminal captain's quarters. Uh, before they lost communications, Altera HQ uploaded a set of blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. There is a high security terminal inside the captain's quarters located behind the Prawn Bay from which the blueprints should be accessible. The code is 2679. That's good to know. Aurora Survivors, Emissaries, Voice Log of LifePod 13. Let's see what it says. Live pod launch sequence initiated. Entry planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Oh no. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Wow. Well, this fella, he basically accepted his death. He knew he was coming. He was doing, I guess, some sort of, I guess, prayer there in acceptance of his fate. Well, that's kind of an interesting and unfortunate and a million other things I could describe it as. But let's go to Aurora Survivors. Yeah, I guess that's it for Live Pod 13. That guy's basically dead. Is there anything? Oh, yeah. I guess we could read about the scanner room real quick and see what it's all about. This advanced habitat module can transform a small outpost into a burgeoning science. Seek fluid intake. Oh, we need to drink something. Into a burgeoning science and exploration station. A 3D display in the center of the room stores local topographical data. System can scan for and pinpoint particular materials. Whoa! So I guess it's going to be easier for finding, I guess, like silver, gold, etc, etc, quartz. I assume remotely controlled drones can scan the area up to 500 meters in range. Wall-mounted camera feeds allow for live control of scouting drones. Upgrade console can be used to enhance the module's functions. Ooh, yeah, we learned about the upgrades we can give to it earlier on. That's interesting stuff. Spotlight uh, automatically rotates 180 degree arch. Motion sensors will track nearby moving objects. Draws electricity from main power. Yeah, that's interesting. Now, here's the water filtration system, which I think we can make right now, right? I think we can make the air gel. Man, yeah, let's go home. Let's go home and let's go make this real quick. That way we don't have to worry about uh, getting a bunch of bleach and um, basically drinking bleach. Because that's if you guys drink bleach, you're going to die. I'm not joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although I know that you use bleach to purify water. Water filtration system. The filtration system draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source, atomically splits it into its constituent parts, and outputs consumable liquid water and salts while disposing of any harmful byproduct. It can be built in any compatible habitat module, but has substantial power requirements. Yeah, I'm like, we have two solar panels right now. I wonder how much this actually takes. We could always build a third and a fourth, and even more if we need to. The Altera water filtration system. Any liquid into pure refreshing pH balanced water? Yes, sir. Any liquid, even my, you know what, my waste liquid? <laughs> uh, both brown and yellow, right? Sheesh, that'd be kind of, that's disgusting. Although, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Enter Z-Moth, let's go. Let's go back home real quick, you guys. Um, uh, well, about a kilometer away. Yeah, this is actually a great opportunity around here. Just kind of uh, generally explore around, see if we can actually find any more scraps, or uh, not necessarily metal scraps like that, that's basically going to give us titanium, which we'd have millions of already, but, you know, uh, like that, right there. Is that, actually, I think that might have been one I already scanned, maybe? See, like, you know, whoa! I don't know what that noise was. Sounds like something just crashed into our seamoth. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's scan that thing. It's going to give us a little bit of titanium, I guess. 
which uh, isn't necessarily the worst in the universe, but but let's keep going around here and uh, God, I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep wanting to hit E to enter, but it's left click to enter. There's salt right there. Mm, I think more salt. I might as well grab it. Might as well get ourselves some, you know, cured peepers and whatnot. Oh yeah, definitely. Speaking of salt, let's drink some non-salt water. Vital signs stabilizing. Speaking of cured peepers, let's eat one of those too. Let's get ourselves a little bit of salt, and I guess we're going to be nice and uh, healthy for a little while. Oh, there's another thing right here. And silver ore, very, very nice. And another salt ore right there, very good. More uh, stuff, more jellyfish fellows. I wonder if we're actually relatively safe from outside critters when we're inside the sea I'm like, it does have its own health. So I assume I don't like its own health meter. Man, that thing's second 40 meters away. Sheesh, we swam fast away from that. Man. <laughs> right, let's go back. Enter the sea moth. I'm actually surprised this thing doesn't get filled up with water whenever I'm entering and exiting it. Sheesh. But anyways, uh, maybe it does, but it's like all waterproof. But that doesn't explain how my oxygen doesn't go down. I'm not complaining either way. Sheesh. <laughs> let's go back home, you guys. Oh, yeah, what happens if we, like, run into a fella? And what about the school of fish? What happens if we run into a school of what looked like... Ah, I guess that's it. Oh, whoa, more salt. Don't mind if I do. Boom, although we're probably going to have millions of salt whenever we make this water filtration system, you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else other than just metal scraps. Not seeing anything else we can actually scan, which I'm pretty sure is probably an upgrade. Aboard, a scanner that you can upgrade onto your Seamoth. That way you don't have to, like, leave and scan things with your scanner gun. I assume that's going to be an upgrade. Whoa, we're down to 89. I assume that's power down there on the bottom right. 89 power, 100 durability or repair or whatever that is, so I, I guess that's good. Still about five, about half a kilometer away, so... Whoa, a little bit of graphical glitches. It looks like even more salt down here, as well as a little bit of coal. Whoa, and there's another box. Let's see what's inside. Uh, it looks like another sea light fragment. Uh, yep. Man, there's so many of these. Sheesh. Just like earlier on. I was talking about, yeah, you, we should... You, we, there's no excuse to not have that, but... I think the same thing for the for the mobile vehicle paint. We, we've had so many of those, yet it took me like 10 episodes to finally get all the materials. <laughs> Look at that, another thing we can scan. Let's see what's inside. It seems like there's quartz nearby. Is there something in there? God, I'm crashing into stuff. What is that? Oh, another laser cutter thing, yeah. Laser cut. I should probably make that. We might be able to make it. Mm, I'm having trouble. Doesn't it show me what we can... Uh, yeah, here it's right here. Yeah, two diamonds. Yeah, we have like pff, six diamonds or something like that. We can make that no problem. Just get one extra battery. We have like, was it three batteries in our inventory right now? <laughs> a little bit of titanium, a little bit of a uh, cave sulfur, which we have like millions of already. Man, keep keep opening and closing that. But we shouldn't be able to make that diamond cutter or laser cutter. And I guess that's what you need to maybe harvest those big things of quartz and lithium and other things I've been seeing lately. So, God, I keep crash. <laughs> Oh my god! And another mobile vehicle bay thing. Hold on, is this scan? Is there a button that... I don't think so. Yeah, I'm hitting multiple buttons right now. It's gotta be an upgrade. Yeah, mobile vehicle bay thing right there. Yet another one of those. Sheesh! Boom! More titanium. And I might as well fill up my inventory with a bunch of salt and stuff. Get a bunch of cured peepers. And I guess we can go home. Let's go make the laser cutter. And let's go make the water filtration thing with all the air gel that we need. Titanium, yeah, I don't need that garbage. And our inventory is full, so now we have an excuse to finally go back home. All right, underwater base, only 300 meters away. I don't know why, but the bottom of my life pod sticks out like a sore thumb when we're inside the, uh... Oh my god, it just crashed into my... No, I didn't! I got hit by a heckin' sand shark! Oh, is it still over here? I guess not. Man, we're almost dead, you guys. Thankfully, I have a bunch of, uh... There you go, first aid. And that healed us up pretty well, but... Yeah, look, whenever I get out, you can't see it quite as well. But when I'm in the Seamoth, it sticks out like a sore thumb. I don't know what's going on with that, you guys. Anyways, let's go park our Seamoth. About right about... Yeah, let's back it up into our base. Beep, beep, beep. There we go. That's good. Wow, that's like perfect. Like right whenever I come out, it's like right there. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's go back in. No, thank you very much, Habitat. Anyways, uh, we can make an, get another med kit. That's good, because we just used one. Uh, speaking of peepers, let's see if we can actually... Oh, yeah, we only have one cured peeper right now. Yeah, we should definitely go get some, uh, some more peepers. I don't know if we're able to... G I guess I can go check that real quick. I never checked that. If we're able to pick things up while in the Seamoth. I probably need to give it, like, little hands or something. <laughs> It'll be able to pick things up, maybe. I don't know. But let's, uh, silver ore. Let's put that up. 
lead, and I think that's it. All right, let's put the extra stuff up in... Which one was it? This one? Where's all my extra titanium? I don't know. I guess I'll put it up inside this one. There you go, put up the extra titanium. And now we need to go get some peepers. So let's go on our Seamoth. See if it's actually able to pick up a little peepers. Either that or maybe we need to go give it an upgrade. And there's a boomerang. Can I pick these guys up? I don't... I'm like, it is very hard to maneuver. Oh, duh, they're... I'm crashing into these guys. No, we lost our ability probably from the sand shark earlier. Man, although, hold on. Can I just get the repair tool? Repair. Oh, whoa, what in the world? Yeah, get out of that. Repair. What do I need? Oh, man, it's doing the... Hold on. Repair. Uh. There we go. Is that it? Is that it? Is, is it 100% now? It is. Huh. That's it. That seems a little bit too easy, you guys. <laughs> Although I'm not complaining. All right, well, let's, uh, eh, we could, we could leave it right there. That's not a big deal. But it seems rather easy, like too easy to repair that thing. Might as well not even have the heck and uh, then again, does our repair gun have like a battery? Yeah, it does. 88% shot. Okay. Okay. It seems rather fair now because we do have a risk of running out of battery. Speaking of the devil, let's actually get on our sea glide and see if we'll run out of battery while we're getting a bunch of peepers. And boom. But that's kind of funny. We can just run into heck and fish and they just splatter on our windshield. <laughs> oh, I love that though. All right. Well, let's keep going around until we can see. Uh, oh, here we go. Just like I said. See if we can find a bunch of uh, glowing eyes, which are just, just little peeper fellas. And boom. There we go. Pick those guys up. But I, I guess we can't pick them up with our sea light, at least for now. Maybe we have an attachment where we can give them like little arms or something. <laughs> That'll grab little peepers as well as grab uh, like metal scraps and, and other stuff. Maybe, maybe there is an attachment for that, which uh, at least for now, I don't know anything about any attachments. It's, it's not showing me anything about them. You think it would show me after I unlocked the uh, the, the sea light or the sea moth? I might have accidentally called it a sea light a couple times back there, but whatever, right? Sheesh. <laughs> but I'm not seeing anything about any upgrades, so I feel like I might be missing something. I might want to do a little bit of research on that on my own. See if I might. There we go. Sheesh. And boom, got ourselves a little bit. Of, I think that was copper right there. Very nice. And here's the giant, giant coral tube. Not just a giant one, but a giant, giant coral tube. Oh, an exploding Pokemon. No, then another one behind me. This is the one that has so much quartz. It's insane. I think that's another one chasing me. Oh, and there's another one right there. Oh my God, it's never ending. Oh, Ooh, we're good. Game's over. Get a little bit of quartz too. Just because why not, right? Uh, man, there's so much here, it's insane. Inventory full. Alright, well, we have a bunch of peepers in our inventory. Should be able to make a bunch of cured peepers. And, oh man, speaking of that, do I have any titanium in my inventory I could drop? Yeah, we have a lot of peepers in my inventory. That's good, though. Let's get back home. 18% power on this thing. I'm gonna have to give it the new battery here in a moment. Let's get ourselves some oxygen before we die. Yes, yes, I got it. I got it before you, Siri. I got it. <laughs> the guy's the island over there. And yeah, let's go that way. That way definitely seems like there's something that way. And mm, let's look at that picture again. Hold on. Was it uh, escape pod number four or something like that? I forget. Which one was the one? Oh, here it is right here. Four. I think it is this side. Just looking at that picture. The engine in the air. Right there in the corner. It's got to be like right there. Maybe we can go find a life pod four here in just a bit, you guys. Especially with our Seamoth. I'm like, they're probably dead. Let's just face the facts. But we could actually probably find them pretty easily. I feel like they're like right there. No transmission. Okay, that's good. Uh, no new med kit either. Man. <laughs> Let's go get ourselves some cured peepers. All right. Well, man, I'm having a lot of fun over here exploring and stuff. We have a Seamoth now. Well, so, yeah, let's go make that diamond thing. We need, uh, I think two diamonds. And we have pretty much everything else already. So don't need to worry about that like at all. Sheesh. And I guess we could use that diamond cutter. I, yeah, let's go myth bust that. Because I know a general location where we have giant quartz. And as well, I think there's also giant lithium or it might have been giant lead. I don't know. But let's go see if that's the tool you need to harvest that stuff. So yeah, put up the quartz and the copper. Very nice. Oh my god, I have an extra peeper right there. I guess, I, yeah, let's go cook that one peeper. And I guess I could keep it in my inventory. Just because I don't have any salt to make it cured, of course. But there we go. Oh yeah, and I want to make the thing. Man, there's so many things I want to do here, you guys. It's insane. Um, water? Yes. Let's get some of that. Go up to 100%, or at least as close as we can. How do we make the water filtration system? I assume it's like its own room, and we could just basically attach it. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, oh yeah, we need to, I probably need to put it in its own room. I don't know how big that is, though. Uh, three titanium, copper wire, and air gel or aerogel and aerogel <laughs> so two copper we get one copper wire so boom boom we need i think it's this one yes we need one gel sack one ruby and that'll give us the air gel aerogel sheesh 
electronics, advanced materials, and there's the aerogel. All right, let's go get the copper wire, and I think it's just titanium after that, right? Uh, we might be on actually, yeah, maybe we could put the, uh, the thing in, like, the hallway, depending on how big it is, I don't know. We're inside of here, honestly, yeah. I'm like, it is a pretty big staple, you know, it produces water, it produces salt. Wouldn't be the worst thing to have in the middle of the room, honestly. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I need to make copper wire, which, there it is right there, all right. And now we need to go get a little bit of titanium, so let's go double check real quick how much titanium did I need, because I have millions of that already. Just three, that's nothing. Alright, let's go to uh, the extra titanium, oh wow, exactly enough inside the extra titanium chest, sheesh, locker, whatever. Um, equipment, oh yeah, it's a, uh, habitat builder thing, yeah. Scanner, ooh, yeah, that's like its own room, yeah. Interior things, indoor, indoor work row bed, oh, whoa, can I put it in a hallway? I cannot, it's just the same, it's just too big. Man. All right, well, I guess I can make another multi-purpose room here in a bit. Cancel, yes, do not actually make that. Where is, oh, yes, oh, wait, that's the picture frame. I haven't taken any screenshots, so no real need for that. Interior thing, oh, there it is right there, water flow. Oh, what in the world? Hold on, why is this thing? It looks like we put it on the wall, because it's got a little rectangle on the back that looks like it connects to, like, like this, like a window thing. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I think, ooh, hold on, yeah. Let's see if we can actually make it replace the, oh, I could pick up the reinforcement, yeah. Pick up the reinforcement, there you go. I, I have so much, uh, stuff. Look, look at that, 17, yeah, we're still good. Nothing's breaking, at least right now, sheesh. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, it connects to the wall like that, yeah. Should we use that, though, you guys? I feel like we should. We have a pretty good amount of storage. If we need more storage, we can make another room or start using wall lockers in the hallways. Let's, yeah, let's make it right here. Can we put the reinforcement outside as well, like outside of this? But there we go, we have the water filtration system. Can I put the, uh, the reinforcement on the outside, like right there? Um, probably not, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. It looks like there's like an input right there. Yeah, it looks like that's like a filter. Yeah, I don't think even if, let's see, um, where is it? There it is right there. Yeah, you're not able to put reinforcement there, but yeah, I, I definitely want to get some reinforcement. Can't put it on the roof, I have to put it on the sides. Yeah, I have to put it on the sides. So, yeah, let's do it right here, because on one side there's a window. And might as well put uh, reinforcement on the other side. There we go. More strength to the hull. We need lithium and titanium. Let's go get a little bit more. How much do you need? Three titanium, one lithium. All right, let's go do that real quick. And of course, I could do that from the inside. But there you go. That's where the uh, the thing is. And we have our own uh, water filtration system, which is nice. I guess you just put your hand there or something or a bottle there. I don't know. But it looks like it's filtering water and maybe giving us salt. Or maybe it's going to be kind of like the med kit thing where you just kind of grab water and salt out of it every now and then. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Look at the power on the, on the top, you guys. Wow. Basically, no power. And it is nighttime right now. So it's eating through the power like it ain't no thing. Hold on, yeah. Whoa, hold on, exterior pieces. We need a little bit of quartz, a little bit of copper, and titanium. Let's get some of that. Okay, how much do we need? Two titanium, let's get two more solar panels. So there you go. How much copper? Let's get two copper, and then four quartz. Two copper, four quartz. Two copper, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's get ourselves two more solar panels on the roof. That's going to put our capacity up to 300, at least during the day. I don't know how much power this thing takes in total, but, uh, put it about right. Eh, about right there is fine. Yeah, that's fine. But we could, we could basically surround the whole entire roof of this thing with solar panels. It's not that big of a deal. Maybe there's going to be something a little bit more efficient than a solar panel we can make here in the future. But for right now, the solar panel is about, ah, it's kind of crooked. Eh, I'll keep it. There you go. All right, so now we have 300 capacity on the inside. Hopefully, things are fine. And speaking of such, let's go get our, uh... Welcome aboard. Captain. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. One, two, three, titanium. One, lithium. And that's going to give us, uh, there you go, lithium. And that's going to give us our other, uh, reinforcement. Yes. Let's go put it right here. Oh, what in the world? Well, I guess I have to do it from the outside? Or, hold on. Okay. Yes, there you go. Let's just build that right there. And, ba-boom! Alright, you guys. Hole up to 30.8. Noish! Alright, well, how does this thing work? Let's see. Filtration progress. 19% water. Use filtration machine. Wait, hold on. What in the world? Oh, it has four little slots. What do I, what do I do there? Or do I wait until it's 100% water? I think these little slots over here, I think it's just going to give you, like, water and salt whenever these hit 100%. Kind of like the med, yep, just like this, the medkit fabricator. It will uh, slowly go, yeah, look at that, 1%, and then 2%, blah, 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 and then it goes to 100%, and you can get a free med kit from that. Right now, its salt is at 53%, and I assume when salt hits 100%, there's going to be one salt inside here I can grab. And because there's four slots, there's going to be room for two salt, two water, or honestly, at the pace it's going right now, it might be just three salt and one water. Sheesh, definitely need to keep my eye on this thing, you guys. But how's our water? How's our power? Do our power's doing pretty good right now. It's slowly going down, but during the nighttime, that's when we need to watch out, you guys. Because this thing is eating through power like it ain't no thing. It was at 300 capacity. It is broad daylight outside, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 
Hmm, might want to get, uh, as many solar panels, like one here, one there, 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 and have a total of eight, up to 600 capacity. That way we'll be able to survive during the nighttime with all the, uh, the charge we've garnered during the day just because of the filtration system eating through that power. <laughs> I'm like, it, it, it's basically staying here in the middle two teens, like two, 216, 217, I'm like, at least during the day. During the night, that's a whole nother story because, of course, we're not going to have any power coming in because it's dark. So, yeah, look at that. The power's going up because, I guess, it's getting a little bit more closer to noon, getting us more uh, power and whatnot from the sun or star or binary system or whatever we have going on on this planet or moon or whatever we're on. <laughs> but uh, I guess we could try and make a couple more. Let's try and make get some quartz, get ourselves some uh, titanium. Let's make a couple more uh, solar panels just because I feel like we're going to need it. I, just in the back of my head, I know we're probably going to need it. So let's grab a, a couple more solar panels and it's just going to be a big circle of them here on top of our thing. <laughs> and I don't know if like the placement of them like that. I'm like, this one's kind of facing downwards. I don't know if that makes that one a little bit less efficient or what, but uh, there we go. Man, there's something behind me making some noise. Hopefully it's not a heck and critter oh i guess not okay Ooh, we're good and we need one more copper two quartz one titanium and i think we just used the last of our copper so we just gave it a i think 150 more capacity so we're up to 450 yes 450 and you can see the number is going up all the way up to 260 some now sheesh that's good stuff good eatings all right well our uh, habitat builder is almost like and broken so i should probably make another battery here in a bit which also requires more copper so i think i'm going to pause the recording try and just regain some more materials and whatnot we just ate through a bunch of copper try and make the stuff i'm like we have this water filtration system too which is what is this at oh it's almost going to give us a salt here i wonder if it's going to give us two salts yeah look at that that, 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 that totally lines up 45 percent for water 90 percent for salt yeah look at that it gives it's, it's a two to one ratio two salt for one water yeah so we're going to have two salt in here on one water when the water is 100 percent. but salt i assume is going to hit 100 percent here in a moment but definitely want to pause the recording and get myself uh, enough materials to recharge the habitat builder and it's at five percent right now scanner whoa yeah scanner Scanner. Scanner's down to 9%. Yeah, I definitely need a battery for that, too. Uh, even though we have a battery right there, that, that's basically for the sea glide. It should be pretty easy. I just need to go get a little bit of uh, copper, and we're good to go. But uh, let's go look at the thing. 100% salt. Oh! Oh, it's pretty... Look at that salt! Cubes of salt right there. You guys see that? Whoa! Yep, look at that. It just produced it right there. Salt deposit. All right! Let's grab that bad boy! And we don't have any extra old cooked pea. I guess I could eat that real quick. Where's our water at, though? I guess we don't have any extra water in our inventory, but I, I know this one's at 53% for water. So, yeah, it, it's going to give us two. Oh, yeah, yeah, we made tons. That's good. Oh, and we have a transmission right now. Whoa, just in time for us to listen right before we pause the recording. Sheesh. Whoa, look at the power. 375 hour 450. That's good, especially during the day. And when we have all eight of them up there, ooh, that's probably going to max out during the day. Anyways, whoa, the frame rates getting eaten like a piece of trash right now you guys down like 45 right there for a second let's listen to the radio and see what it says this is life pod 7 coordinates attached pod is structurally sound but the fabricators bust requesting assistance 7 out signal coordinates corrupted approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank hmm yeah, I know what you're talking about when you don't have a fabricator. Man, that really sucks. At least I had my own life pod that had an extra fabricator on it. Ooh, life pod 7 transmission uh, sunk 200 meters in the area of low ecological activity. We know an area where there's low ecological activity near the, uh, the Gazi Island, right? Because I think uh, Siri told us something about uh, low activity or something around there, so they might be around there. Crew reported problems with their onboard fabricator, yes. Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora's stern section. Hmm. A distress signal. Yeah, that's the picture. Doesn't really look very familiar to me with those little, what look like spikes coming out of the ground and whatnot. Yeah, that doesn't really look familiar to me at all. Alien data, artifacts, alien rifle. What in the world? I guess I could read about that. I guess I never read about it. Sheesh. Alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. Weaponry in form. <laughs> this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they consider defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Yes, at least for my puny little humanoid brain. Alien Arch. The structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network. Yep, advanced transportation network. I'm like, it is a Stargate. We activated it with the, uh, the ion cube and we went teleporting halfway across the map. <laughs> 